Hey guys, Steven at Rock Solid. Just gonna do a little product info video here. Uh, this week, it seems like they come in threes. I've made three fuel tanks for the F bodies. Uh, two large fuel cells, which cover the whole T-top area in the back where you put your T-tops for storage. And then one combo tank variation. And we're gonna talk about the combo tank today and just show you some details about it. I'm not sure if I, I've done a video uh, explaining all the details. I think I've done some walk around videos just not talking or something, but I'm going to show you every detail about it here. So here's the basic overview of it. We've got fuel on this side. We've got your intercooler water over here. Now the tank capacities on these, we have seven and a half gallons and we've got 12 gallons for the fuel. Also in the middle, you'll notice these holes right here. If you look inside there, I'm not sure if the camera will focus, it is a double wall. So it is an air gap between the fuel and the water. Those guys that ice their tanks down really good, you'll know it, it condensates like crazy. And this will help it from condensating inside the fuel getting water in there over here on this end we have a battery tray a lot of guys put their battery in the passenger side rear towards where the spare tire would normally go so these tabs bolt right on top of the frame rail and this kind of sits on top of the frame rail hangs over slightly you can set pretty much any common size battery in there uh, we just we don't put a strap on it because you know the various different batteries that might go in there so you can just drill inside of here and put your strap across there or whatever you need to do when getting these they all come standard with a number eight vent this is a vibrant style rollover vent it's got the ball inside of it it's a bulkhead style so you can unscrew it take the inside out if it were to ever go bad i don't know really how it would go bad we got the return on the back corner because most of the time your fuel lines are going to go down into the trunk area. Have your hold down tabs here, which sit on the opposite on the driver's side frame rail. It does have a sump in it, it's about three inches. See there? On the ice tank. You have a drain at the bottom. Put your ball valve coming under the car or something and switch out your water in between rounds. We always use the race part solutions billet lid. This is a six inch lid. Whoops. You can see there. Nice coarse threads now. They used to be fine thread, but now they're coarse thread. So less apt to core cross thread it whenever you put it back on. Got the ice tank pump in there. This is a rule 3700. It's what we always use in these. It's clipped to the bottom. It's bolted to the bottom on a plate that's welded to the floor. If the mounting base breaks, the red thing there, you can order them on Amazon for like 15 bucks if it were to ever break for some reason see a one and a half inch uh or inch and a quarter feed line going up to our bulkhead fittings and the return is below it all solid stainless uh worm clamps all of the hardware is stainless on these so you don't have to worry about it rusting the nuts and everything is for the fuel side we have our billet four inch lid inside the fuel tanks we've got e85 friendly foam i think it's got four big cubes in there uh, you don't have to have it it's no extra charge for the foam if you don't want it, if you're gonna run M1 or something and you're afraid of what it'll do to the foam, 
just let us know when you put your order in and we don't have to put it in there but you can just grab it and pull it out the hole if you don't want it in there when you order these there is a selection for fitting size for the water tanks you don't get a choice always a number eight drain and on the feed and return is always going to be a 16. but for the fuel side you can choose your return size and you can choose your feed size so make sure to look at the drop down menu and select those because you can get anything from a number eight all the way up to a 16. so the guys running sales in the rear i don't think you're going to need bigger than a 16. Most of the guys that go with a 20 or something have a front mounted fuel cell that's smaller. So that's the overview of our combo tank. These are about two weeks out whenever you order. We get everything laser cut and by the time we you know, get on those guys schedule to get the material, it's usually about a week and then about a week for me to find time to weld one together. So I put two weeks. Sometimes it might be two and a half. Sometimes it might be one week. But we've sold a good bit of these. We appreciate the business. And pick up one if you need it. Thanks, guys.